Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, where today we are going to be starting up Episode 2. And we're honestly just going to hop right into it here, so yeah, let's get started. Really don't have much of intros for these, because I mean, like, we just play this. Um, and I do got some news about some series coming up. We are starting The Forest starting next week. I haven't decided how many episodes a week, though, I'm going to post. I might only be posting two or three Previously episodes Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought was possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. What's happening in life? Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Sorry, that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. What does that mean? What is it, what? Admin? What is that I'm scared right now. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like, looking right at you. Speak with me face to face. Oh, he's not just gonna oh, level wait. the town? Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, here's the thing, everyone. He's calling me the gauntlet bearer because of this uh, gauntlet thing that I found. It won't come off, and I guess that makes me, like, his chosen one, or something. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone, I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy, nice, that sounds good. <clears throat> my patience guess you should get up there gauntlet bearer clay coming your way thanks Nell. perfect this might go bad he might still level the city There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. You are acting very weird, Mr. Admin. What's your game here? Game? Ha! Huh. Why, the greatest game of all. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? 
to tempt you down to the Sea Temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Oh, he's leveling the town. Me. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Not today, admin. Beacon Town can take anything you throw at it. Uh, uh, hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> Dodge! <laughs> He's gonna destroy the town. How do I fight something like that? This reminds me of, uh... No, actually it doesn't. This is pretty bad. All the swords in Beacon Town won't be enough to take this monstrosity down. Who needs swords when you have the structure block? Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make Tall, Dark, and Ugly regret smashing my town. No one's a better distraction than me. Go for it. Got it. <clears throat> hey! Woohoo! Chew on me, monster! I never liked Prismarine anyway! What a liar! Say that to my face and I'll show you who's lying! You are! Ha! I'll make you eat your words! Do not get in my threatening range! Oh, go, go, go! Uh, the, 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 where's the structure block? Ha <laughs> ha! Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. <laughs> We've lost the structure block. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Oh, hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. Let's go this way. Oh, it's getting red. Okay, he definitely wants us to run to the stairs. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. I guess I go up? So annoying. A design on the back of his head. I've seen it before. Prismarine soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Okay, what's this way? Ah! Oh, there we are. All right, admin, you want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a little helpless, champion. Not using champion there sarcastically. Hey, Rockface! Eat this! 
<laughs> right in the eye. It's Lucas. to see you too. Yes. What is that? Quick version, the admin, he like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay, oh, God. are you all right? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Don't die. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. I had to close the tab, sorry. Go, go, go! know anything about me. <gasps> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Don't you get... Oh, they crushed the Ruben no! statue. You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, admin. Oh, boy. at least stands. <laughs> Confidence. Get it. Okay, I guess we killed him and he dropped us the compass, or was it the clock that can control time? That was really something. Prismarine everywhere. Me, ah, don't let the googlies touch me. Oh man, these are going to keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? No. Okay, now what? I guess we have to... I'm guessing the admin's gonna come back at some point. This episode's, like, preview, like, the image for it had a snow castle with a big clock on it. I'm wondering if someone's gonna come and take that clock. Are they building out of the prismarine? Oh my god, they legit just looted him. They made him into the repairs. 
I can't believe it still works. Man, this thing could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? I don't know. If we destroyed that huge thing and he's still alive, that's kind of scary. I don't know how much more Beacon Town can take. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. He's got Jesse, noodle arms. Are we it, sure about one this? One of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. L look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse. I can do this. I think I want Lucas with me. Jesse's left me in charge before. I believe this in is Radar. A whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. Uh, yeah, good. That's good. Don't mess so with it. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, I gotta rebuild it. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. It feels pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um... <sighs> when I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Hey, do I got, like, any prismarine or anything? Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, Because I've buddy. noticed some shards in the background. I guess I gotta go collect blocks. Oh, no, I already got, like, a bunch. Let's clear it. Um, What should I do? I got an idea. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. There, and there, and there. Probably not going to be able to do it this way. Can pan up. Let's do it this way. Boom. We got all those. Building a prismarine hut, I guess. Is what I'm doing. Oh, nope. Do the chiseled quartz on top now. Okay, so I'm gonna place this last bit of dark prismarine, and I'm gonna say this hut is done. The Temple of Reuben. <laughs> Boom, finished. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. B, finished.
It's perfect. I'm done. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Mel. Still a bunch of Prismarine shards just lying around. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. No? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why You're I think this adventure him a to tour Twisting guide. Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <clears throat> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Oh, okay. yes, yes, quite. You guys can talk about having some new adventure plan. What do I care? Huh. I guess that's true. Yeah, we've just got a new expedition on the horizon. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the... Better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, pos possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just. Whoa, wait, what? Snow? Okay. Is something happening because we messed with the daylight? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. Did the admin change our biome? The admin. The one and only. It's so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. It was kind of cuddly, right? Hold up. That was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. He changed it back tonight and took away the clock. Again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. 
Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but... Let's just accept the challenge. like, <laughs> really hard. Fine, we accept your challenge. I'm gonna get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers. You got him, Jack. No, you, you think didn't. You've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember? Find the clock, save the town. Bye bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run, hide everyone. Oh, they hit me with an arrow slow day. Got him. Okay, now we got zombies. There's more strays. Ow. Got it. I'm out of stamina. I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. I guess our team is assembled? Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? No one will remember that. I legit just entrusted a Is villager. That thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. All right, at least Thanks, we didn't guys. leave Bye, it Nerm. in a villager's hands only. We got we're Stacy and Stampy. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Stay close. What is it? I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? We hope. Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. Are you listening to him? He's a total wacko. I bet even he doesn't know what his game plan is. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off, Jesse. It could all be a ruse. I'm with Jesse, actually. I think he's a few rails short of a full track. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. 
I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. No, no, she's not. I... She's done. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real, hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Uh, hello. Just because we don't spend as much time together doesn't mean I'm still not your friend, dummy. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? Oh, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. What's that? <gasps> is that the llama? Mm. Oh, we got the treasure smith and llama back. What did they call it, you know? Uh, is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yeah, I'm still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Pretending to be a hero again? Just like back in your treasure room? I... no! Just... But I am going to fix it. Oh, well, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. Alright, let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world, too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the... the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. He's scared of the dark. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? Okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, 
And it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding! <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey! Found the clock! Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... Uh, wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. It's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh. I wonder who he would agree with. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. Quite Thanks, literally Jesse. just dropped her off that. and walked away. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be... you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Sorry I went quiet, I've been just kind of watching. Oh boy, my favorite, mystery levers. But, you know what? I feel like is a good idea. We need to pause the game here and we need to do an outro because this is actually a pretty short episode from what I've heard and so are the next couple. So they're like not like almost two hours like uh, the previous one. This one's like only going to take me about an hour and a half in total to do is what I've been told. So yeah, we're going to we're going to cut it here just so I can get two episodes out of that. So if you guys found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember during that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah. Oh, also remember, uh, I do have YouTube channel memberships available. Um, it's only $1.99 to join and all you really get is uh, a Discord title. And yeah, so if that interests you, go for it. But this has been Gunshine Warrior signing off. Peace.